Praise God, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, everybody. I'm Color40, and we finally get to play Shadow on Radical Highway. Break through the besieging military. This is an awesome level. Really shows off what Shadow is capable of. So he can do the spin dash like Sonic. He plays pretty much the same as Sonic, but if I'm being honest. He just slides around everywhere like this, instead of running. That makes him a bit tougher to control at times, but it's not too bad. Also, no light speed dash yet, so that'll be fun. We'll take a little shortcut by going up here. Summer salt under there. And bada beam bada boom! I love how many- I love how just fast-paced this level is, and how many, like, crazy loops you do. <laughs> Under construction? Not anymore. And that part is always amazing. Ah, but much like Mission Street, missiles can just come at you randomly. Chain reaction. Oh, I love the rockets! This level may really makes you feel like it's like Shadow is on a rampage. Because, well, let's be honest, he is. Oh no! No, no, no! Nope. Doggone it! I'm not dead, but I mean, I don't get the extra points by going up. We can actually somersault between those two, and there's zero gravity. Whoa, that plane was shooting at me! I don't remember that. Aww. Jumped too late. Oh well. I didn't think I was gonna A-rank this level. This is a very tough level to A-rank. Just press the A button right after you hear the and you'll be able to do the jump. Alright, this way you want to go to the right because it gives you extra boost panels that make you go a little bit faster. There we go. That's how fast we want to go. Faster, 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 Shadow. Oh, what's the end? Oh, that's the jerk move. I hate how they always throw robots down at you at the very end. Just to make you lose your hard-earned rings and get go. a lower score. But it's my fault for forgetting. I've played this game a lot, especially this level a lot. I should have remembered. Hmm, too easy for me. Not bad. I knew I wasn't going to get the A rank because, well, I, I screwed up a bit too much. But I will take a B. I will happily take a B. And I just realized there were no chow crates that I found on that level. What? It all starts with this. A containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! <laughs> Great acting, Sonic. I know what's going on. The military is taking me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos control! Man, that chaos control takes a long time. Yeah, I don't think so, Shadow.
Well, okay. Now it's time for the egg quarters as Rouge find the free gate keys. This is pretty much death chamber, like almost identical to death chamber. This is Rouge. I have located But way better music. And we'll proceed to enter it now. <sighs> I hate to say it. I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. Great acting, your Rouge. A plus. This is actually can be a bit more annoying than Death Chamber, though, because of these sentry bots, which you have to hide from unless you want them to hit you. Alright. Much like with Knuckles, if you go for this door... Oh, never mind. Not what I thought. There's a power-up we'll need to get as Rouge, but I can't remember where it is. But yeah, as you can see, very, very similar to Death uh, Chamber. Oh, yep, there it is. Pick nails. You can dig into the ground or walls. So like dig in the action window or press the B button when you're in the air or on a wall. It's the same as Shovel Claw. We're going to need it. And again, Rouge has like the weirdest way to just detect where keys are, as well as the K uh, Master Emerald pieces. I don't know how that works. There we go. Get, grab the key. Grab the key. Thank you. Took you long enough. How did the sentry guy not see me? Oh, I just flat out outran it. Oh, wow. I didn't even know you could do that. I'm guessing it'll be up in the middle here. Never mind. Ah, oh, I forgot the torches can hurt you, but that makes perfect sense. This is the egg scorpion chamber. It's gotta be close. Only one more left. Cool. Not cool. Get away from me, you stupid ghost. They do have maps of the area on the wall, which is very nice. Helps you navigate. What the heck? The sentry en enemies are way stupider than I remember them being. I remember them being really, really hard. There's nothing in there. There is nothing. Nothing in there. Move it. Yep, that's what I remember. Okay, it's gotta be in the walls, right? Where is it? It's gotta be in here, but I'm talking like literally. It's right in here, I know it, but I've dug everywhere. There, that's a really random place to hide the key. Well, because of that, I don't think I got an A rank, but maybe. Oh, How was cool. That? Perfect, like me? No, that was far from perfect, and you are far from perfect, Rouge. At the very least, you're not humble. Oh boy, the next level is one of my favorites. It's a space transporter. The destination has been set to... Ark? 
Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. Well, well. Rouge has more depth than we thought. So now we get another Eggman level, The Lost Colony, find the way to the colony's core. Noise. So this is the Space Colony Ark. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. I love the music on this level, it's so quiet and atmospheric. Yo! Also, there's cool stuff like this. Where it's like you descend down to the ladies. Ouch. Out of the doctor's way! This is my space colony now. Oh, this room is filled with stuff. Hello, bonus points. That's a tough jump to make without the booster. Okay, yeah, this room. The room. This room is super dark, and but there is a way to the second level. And I believe it's right up here. Yes! We get the jet engine! Allows you to hover doing the A button. Yes, at last! At last we will review ourselves to the Jedi. I don't like how this level's so dark. But it doesn't bother me that much. Launch the missile! Don't do that. Move it. And there's no light source anywhere. And my TV is especially dark, so that makes this level that much more annoying. But I digress. That's not entirely Sega's fault. It's not Sega's fault that I got a dark TV. Oh, I missed the checkpoint. And can't get back up there. Oh well, hopefully I won't die. Also, collecting rings refills uh, the walker's HP, and that applies to the tails as well. Forgot to mention that. This room can be annoying, because if, unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure the ground just randomly breaks out up from under you. Well, that was rude. And again, it's like this space colony was shut down like a long time ago. It's like, now why are the military bots still inhabiting it? Ooh. Yes, please. Oh yes, if you please -ems. Oh, this part's awesome. You're locked into place when going up. I just like holding the B button and then rapidly like swirling the controls to ground. Spinning, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, 
Oh, look at that high score! Oh man, didn't get the best score I could. <laughs> it's like, man, that was a tight combo to Heckman's like, oh, 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 of course it was. Ouch. My rings. Hi. Alright, I want to say that's an A. Look at that high score. It's going to be 30,000. At least. 35,000. Yes! Now you know why I am the best. Oh yeah, we actually have time to do another level. We're going to do four levels this episode. That's amazing! I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the Ark contained a top secret research facility, where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet. The Death Star. The Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. So that's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the Chaos Emeralds, use the machine to dominate the world, and build a legacy of my own. Do you really think own. it will be that easy? I've got a great idea. How about making a deal? A uh, deal? When you grabbed that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction. A reaction that it may have with the Master Emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you if think? I do. What's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. I may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? How did she get that? Very well. Okay then, it's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. Yeah, don't trust her. Again, how did she get the Chaos Emerald? Makes no sense. Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? Are you absolutely sure? Well, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the Chaos Emerald. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me. Okay, maybe we don't have time for another episode. I forgot how long the cutscene is.
All right, well, we made some good progress today. I think it's time to call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you tune in for the next episode. We'll be doing some of the craziest Team Dark levels in the game, I'd say. Have a great day, and God bless.